This is a Moonstone production for the Triumph Sports Six Club. The 1908 Bond Meet took place over the weekend of the 11th and 12th of June. Both the two-litre and the smaller four-cylinder engine versions were well represented. The cars had travelled from all over the country, some from over the Welsh border. All were converging on the three horseshoes at Yaxley, which is situated about four miles south east of Peterborough, just off the A1. Our hosts, Rose and Stephen Laidlow, made special catering arrangements for the weekend. This was greatly appreciated by all. The Herald provided the ideal chassis for the Bond, which was manufactured in Preston, Lancashire. The first cars utilised the 1147cc engine. However, in 1967, Peter Jackson designed the exciting and very attractive 2-litre GT, this being powered by the six-cylinder Vitesse engine. No Bond meet would be complete without its auto jumble. So let's have a little dip in the bag. Yes, it looks like one of those scarce Bond parts. See how they jealously guard the carpeting, almost trying to hide it from the camera lens. Some parts, of course, are common to the Herald range. The speedometers, lighting looms, and control boxes, and some of the gauges. Many new parts are still available. This locking mechanism for a door is for a very early 948 Herald. It was also fitted to some early 1200s. A new matching handle was also available. Mick Dolphin from Meacham has a wide range of parts and is willing to give advice. It's uh, now late on Sunday morning and the number of cars is increasing. The weather on the previous day had been rather cold and overcast, but was this the sun? Was it really making a brave attempt to break through? How about a model bond to take home? The time is now approaching to think of the presentation of prizes. The best bond shield is presented each year, the owner taking home this trophy. The distance award is for the car that has travelled the greatest distance. This pair of bonnet locks were kindly donated by the Cambridge Triumph parts of Chatteris. It's a case of being able to have your bond and eat it. This is the first prize in the draw. August 1967 saw the introduction of the completely redesigned Equip GT 2-litre. First known as the Mark I, this used the GT6 2-litre six-cylinder engine producing 95 brake horsepower. It also had a four-speed all-shrink mesh gearbox, front disc brakes and aerodynamic glass fibre and steel body. In addition, it sported slim line bumpers and a fastback coupe style body was also available at a cost of a mere £1,096. The Bond GT4S was introduced towards the end of 1964. with a full four-seater with four headlights Six months later, the Spitfire Mark II engine was fitted. February 1966 saw the introduction of a heated rear window. This was available as an optional extra. Some still favour the very clean lines of the original GT2 Plus 2. Not many of these uh, examples, unfortunately, have survived. Most owners um, retain the standard wheels and hubcaps though uh, trims from other Triumph models can be fitted. A variety of uh, badges are available for the bonds, and uh, new castings uh, have been commissioned, and Peter informs me that uh, sales are going very quickly so if you haven't got one get on to Peter quickly Peter by the way uh, meets every new arrival and uh, ushers them to their appointment
pointed parking position. This is rather a nice uh, two litre coupe version. One car here in resplendent green, fitted with the uh, non standard wheels. I wonder if this will be the best car of the show. Each um, spectator attending the show has his or her chance of casting a vote for the best car. Well, you can certainly tell it's a Bond show, can't you? Hang on, hang on. What have I spotted across there? Now, is this a Berold or is it a Hond? I like it anyway, but uh, I'm not a purist. Most members now have retired to the north part of the field where they're having their lunch. It would appear, though, that uh, certain younger members have been imbibing a little bit too much. Anyway, I feel sure that uh, everyone will be fit and legal for the journey home. One of the uh, problems of organising a bond meet such as this is that um, some Spitfire owners will try to get in on the act. They'll even try to creep in behind another car. But Peter, vigilant as ever, has spotted him. I don't know what he's saying to him, but he's telling him where to go. Yes, down the bottom end, I think. Yes, this Spitfire is, uh, as you appreciate, not exactly a standard version. It looks like um, a Le Mans model. Very streamlined, very low, but not as nice as the lines of a Bond. Time is passing now. Last looks round all the cars, completing our slips, marking up which bond you think is the best bond of the day. Last minute discussion, a little bit of persuasion here. Even the ladies take uh, the job of judging quite seriously, obviously filling in her form. Even the engines come in for scrutiny. This uh, two-litre engine looked just as nice from the other side. Yes, lots of very nice chrome there. How about a Night Rider version? Well, the weekend now is uh, drawing rapidly to a close. Some of us are rather exhausted. Some of us are packing up to go home. So I feel now I should hand over to Peter We'll be all here. We've had a super turnout of cars. We've got 28 here today, or 28 and a half or three quarters, depending how you count the uh, three-wheeler. <laughs> um, got some super weather for today, at least. It wasn't so good yesterday, but today's the main day, so it's nice to see that. Um, and I'll get on with the prize uh, presentation. The uh, distance award prize. A well-deserved prize goes to Tim Bell in the red convertible, even though I did tow him for the last few miles here, and uh, he's leaving by courtesy of the RAC. Well done, sir. <laughs> drive all. If you come next year, drive all. Oh, will do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> Right, and the choice bond trophy goes to NJA 791G, Keith Dunworth again. Well, uh, just to give you some information, that um, Keith got 16 votes, MRY 7F, Peter Prime got, was second with eight, and 633BOO, Kevin Perry's uh, convertible got five. Thank you very much. But in the quiz, that um, didn't get a lot of entries, but we've got some good ones and some a few rude comments, which I won't pass. Too much. Um, the winner of that was Peter Prime with 17 and a half marks. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
Uh, second in that was Roland Drew, third Vince Armstrong. <laughs> Well, with a last look at the bond of the show, we'll say farewell. <laughs>